keep your baby close, keep your baby safe. The following safety guidelines are from the Baby Sling Safe campaign and are five simple points to always keep in your mind when carrying your little one. Tight. Your carrier should hold your baby tightly but gently against you. In view at all times. You must always be able to see your baby's face. It must never be covered or in danger of being covered by any fabric or clothing. Close enough to kiss. Babies should be carried up high on your chest at or above waist height. Keep chin off the chest. When riding in a sling, a baby's head should never be slouching down so their chin is forced against their chest. This can be dangerous and make it difficult to breathe. Support. A baby's back should be supported in an upright position, the same as they would be in your arms. If you wish to use a carrier for a premature or special needs baby, please consult a trusted healthcare professional first if you have any concerns. We hope these instructions help you easily master the use of our carriers. Please contact us if you need extra support. We are here to help. If it's your first time trying the Hugabub or you feel a bit nervous, we recommend practicing in front of a mirror with a doll or stuffed toy. When you first try the Hugabub with your baby, choose a time when you're not in a hurry and your baby is calm or sleepy and has been recently fed. If your baby begins to fuss or object, going for a walk outside or gently bouncing them up and down is usually enough to settle them. Once familiar with being in the Hugabub, your baby will become relaxed or go off to sleep very quickly. The process of tying the front wrap cross carry is a very simple one and in a nutshell involves crossing the fabric three times around you and your baby, finishing with a double knot at the front or back. Find the middle of the wrap where the label is. Hold the top edges of the Hugabub, gather it up slightly and then take the fabric around to your back. Using one hand, pinch the fabric's top edges together. Then reach under the cloth with your free hand and take hold of the opposite side. Remember to only hold the top edges as you continue wrapping. This will avoid creating any twists or potential points of pressure. Extend your hands out as far along the fabric edges as possible. Then bend your arms. And while leaning back slightly, Lift the fabric up and over your shoulders, then pull it forwards. Some people will find it easier to do this one side at a time. We have just created our first cross. Organise the fabric over each shoulder and ensure it is not bunched or twisted. Place your baby high up on one shoulder, carefully supporting their head and neck. Then guide your baby's feet under the middle band and lower until their bottom rests on the fabric. Position their legs into a deep squat or froggy position to support optimal hip development. Gather their hands together high on your chest while supporting your baby close against your body. Pull the middle band up and over your baby's back and then pull the fabric down under the baby's bottom and tuck it up between their legs and your tummy while keeping one hand on your baby at all times. The middle band must be fitted snugly and securely over your baby. So to begin with, firmly pull the fabric lengths up, out and forwards, one side at a time, and then trap the fabric under your baby's bottom. Repeat these steps on the other side. The middle band should already feel a bit tighter. Before we cross the fabric between baby's legs, it's important that all sections of the wrap are individually tightened. Begin by lifting the fabric edge closest to your neck, up, out and forwards to draw the top of the middle band in tighter across your baby. Then secure it below baby's bottom. Now lift the fabric on the outer edge of your shoulder, up, out and forwards to tighten the lower part of the middle band. Now use your other hand to hold the fabric in place and repeat the process to tighten the other side by lifting the inner and outer rails up, out and forwards. Your baby should now feel very snugly supported against your body. Firmly cross the fabric over your baby's back and under their knees. Then make the final cross at your back and finish tying with a double knot at the front. If you have extra fabric left over, you may prefer to finish tying at the back. In the warmer months, as long as your carrier is tied firm, you may leave the wrap panels open slightly to reduce layering. 
If heat is not an issue, start with the panel closest to your baby and carefully spread it all the way across your baby's back from knee to knee and shoulder to shoulder. Repeat with the outer panel and make sure the fabric edges are firmly supporting your baby's thighs to the back of the knee. Both you and your baby should feel snug and well supported. Adjust your baby or carrier if needed to ensure their bottom and legs are well supported in the froggy position. Head support can be used by pulling the fabric over the back of your baby's head. We recommend waiting until your baby is relaxed before using it, but once you do, you'll most likely find your baby goes off to sleep much faster. Always make sure your baby's nose and face are not covered by the fabric and that their chin does not rest on their chest. You should be able to fit two fingers under their chin like this, ensuring a clear airway. Your baby should be visible and at a kissable height at all times. To take your baby out of the wrap, peel open the outer layer and then do the same with the inner wrap, always keeping one hand supporting your baby. Take your arms out of the wrap by placing your hands back through the fabric so that the hugabub now falls around your waist. Gently pull the middle panel down and loosen it around your baby's bottom and carefully lift your baby out. We wish you and your baby all the comfort, closeness and ease the hugabub can provide. If you have any questions or special needs, please contact our product support team. We are here to help.